Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So back in February, my ATC Video Hop Buddies brought you an ATC Hop for Valentine's Day. And as it's the Easter season, we thought we'd do one for that too. So what I will do is I will show you the ATCs that the girls have sent me, and then I'll show you the ATCs that I created and sent out to them. So these are the six ATCs in the swap. So these are the ones that I've received. This one is from Hanny. Cute little bunnies. This one is mine. Well, I'll come back to that one in a little while. This one is from Marianne. Cute little doggy there. This one is from Kylie, a fabulous foam chick. This one is from Linda. And this one is from Diana. Cute bunny. I love the little eggs. So this one is mine. And I've used some vintage Easter images in the creation of my ATCs. And I'm going to show you now how I created my six set. And then I'll join you again back at the end. So I'm starting off with six pieces of 300 GSM or £140 watercolour cardstock from Bockingford cut to two and a half inches by three and a half inches. So I've gone through my digi collection of images and I found six images which are just perfect for Easter. They all kind of fit with the colour theme and all have a slight pinkish cast to them or a slight bluish cast to them. And I've reposition or resize them on my computer and printed them all out at two and a half by three and a half inches. Now some of these in images I have purchased online and some are public domain. These are just ones that I've taken from my collection of, of many many different images. So I'm, I've cut them out already and I'm going to glue them down using the triangle collage glue stick from Ranger and as normal with these kind of videos I will show you the first couple and then I will jump to where I've completed all six. Next step is to take some white gesso and a small detailed paintbrush. I'm just going to add a little bit of that white gesso all the way around the outside edges of my ATCs and then just blend it in just to add a little bit of a fading effect around the outside borders. Now I have already done the others. I'm just showing you uh, the last couple that I've done. So I saved two to film for you because I just went ahead and did the others off camera. The gesso doesn't take very long to dry, so soon I can bring out my Rose Madder Archival Ink. This is a lovely pinkish colour and I have an ink blending foam that I'm just going to take from underneath. That's where I store my ink blending foams. I'm just going to load the ink blending foam up and then I'm going to go around all of the edges just to add a nice little pale pink tinge over the top of that white gesso. So once again, as this is a repetitive action, I will just show you doing a couple of them and then I'll jump to the end where all six have that pink around the borders.
Next, it's time to bring out the bling. This is the Encore Metallic Gold Ink from Sukuniko. And again, I'm going to take an ink blending foam and then I'm going to add some of that gold ink through a stencil, just in a few areas around each of the images. So this is the Halftone Borders stencil from TCW. It's a very subtle effect and works really nicely when you just try and catch it in the light. So once again, I'm going to repeat the same process on all six of the ATCs. So I'll show you a couple and then once again, I'll jump to the end. So not content with having the ink on the top of the ATCs, I also want to add some around the edges too. So I'm just going to take the ink pad and just transfer some of the ink onto the edges of each of the ATCs. So next it's time to add some more detail. So I'm using the Dinky Script Stamp from Indigo Blue and the Potting Soil Archival Ink from Ranger. So I'm going to load up the stamp. I'm not going to put it onto a, an acrylic block because I just want uh, an uneven impression. And I'm just going to lightly add some of that script image onto each of the ATCs. So next I want to work on my sentiment for each of the ATC. So I'm going to put those to one side in a few seconds and then bring out my uh, Happy Easter sentiments that I've printed off my computer and then I've taken the Tree Branch Archival Ink again from Ranger and I'm going to add some, um, some distress or a little bit of ageing to each of those sentiments on the cards. So that's the aging and the oldness added in, that vintaging up, if that really is a word. So I want to add a little bit of that pink colour that I've used earlier. So I'm bringing back the rose madder and I'm just going to add some hints of that pink over the top of the sentiment strips too. So I'm happy with the colour and the way it looks, so I'm now going to grab a pair of scissors and I'm going to trim out all six of the Happy Easter sentiment blocks. Now they're all cut out, I'm going to bring back that triangle collage glue stick. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue onto the back of each one, and then I'm going to stick it down on the front of my ATCs. Now I'll just put it towards the bottom on each one.
So once all the sentiments are stuck down, it's time to add a little bit of bling. So I have some self-adhesive gems that I've taken from my stash, which I've had there for absolutely ages. And I'm just going to add a little gem to the corner of each of those sentiment blocks. I love these tiny little gems because they just add a nice little pinpoint of sparkle. Next it's time to add the info sheets. So these are the Artist Trading Card info sheets which are also available blank on my website for you to purchase and download and use for yourself. I've used the template um, and actually typed in the information over the top in a Word document. So I'm just, I've cut them all out to the right size and using that same triangle collage glue stick I'm just going to glue each of the information sheets to the back. Now these are all numbered one to six so you've got one of one sorry one of six two of six three of six and so on. So once again I'll show you adding the backs to each of the cards I'll just show you the first couple and then I will jump to the end where all six are done. So now all of my information sheets are added to each one of my ATCs. All I have to do once they're complete, once it's dry, is to add a signature on the back of each one. And to do that, I just have a, a Pigma number no. five micron pen that I'm just going to use to sign at the bottom of each card. And now all six of my ATCs are complete. So I'm just going to add a protective plastic sleeve onto each one before I can pop them in the post and send five of them off to the other five hop participants. And there are my six ATCs ready to swap. So I hope you enjoyed watching how I put those ATCs together. Now, if you'd like to see how the girls put their ATCs together, then you'll find links to their video and YouTube channels in the description area below this video. If you did enjoy watching the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again real soon. Bye for now. I'd just like to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of my angels because without you this video would not have been possible. Thank you.